Night Flyers were Wakefield and Salford. Our own rocket man is Matt Newsom. Asher stopped. We're back to Miller. Kick swept in towards that in goal area. Up goes Junior Sow. Horro taken out off the ball. That will be a Wakefield penalty. Little John ensured Horro wouldn't get there. Tap from Wakefield. Away to this left hand side. Johnson the threat on that wing. Here goes Griggs. He's going to go it alone. And on his own was good enough. Try for Trinity after five minutes. Looking to go down the short side. Good offload from Finn to Horro. Loops it back to the centre of the park. Here goes Kerman now. Taken high perhaps there. Louis in the tackle. And James Child has blown up for the Wakefield penalty. And as Kerman went in, some meaty tackling. It was that third man in interference. Finn from the tee then, with half time looming to make it an eight point ball game and he makes no mistake from there. Logan Topkins in an acting half back for Salford. Clock Jack, works the ball onto Louis. They're running away down this right hand side. That's great hands to put Jake Bibby into space. Great cover tackle. And Wakefield all at sixes and sevens. Jacob Miller's out of position and Robert Louis takes full advantage. Salford off the mark. Fine play from Robert Louis. Tompkins again. Ten metres away, Robert Louis skirts the line. Away to that left-hand side now. Good hands from Sal. Gets it away to Evans. Salford level. What a comeback from them. And their fans jump for joy. And Ian Watson will be pleased. Ashurst to Grix. Already a try in this game for Trinity. Keeps the ball alive. Miller. Away to that right-hand side they go. Is there a gap in this Salford line for Justin Horror? Reese Lynn's turn. Tackled by Sal. Midfield maybe running aground here. Horror into Hampshire. Hampshire with a little kick in field. There's Jacob Miller. Oh, my word, what a play. Have Wakefield scored? Well, James Child's not so sure. Here's Jacob Miller, the man on the spot for Wakefield. It's a try on field decision. As Hampshire gathers it here, Miller's onside. The kick is a sublime one. The chase and gather even better. And Jacob Miller might just have restored Wakefield's lead here. And he has! Super try! Wakefield made of stern stuff this season. Last chance saloon for Salford. They'll look to run it down this right edge. Robert Lewis. Put down just a couple of metres away. Time against Sovereign here. Haraki cut up onto the corner. Chris Wellen! Oh, they might just have done it. They're back within two. They can steal a point here. The focus is on Gareth O'Brien, a saviour of Salford in the million pound game. Has his boot found the target? No. Wakefield cling on to win it. You've got to feel for Salford and Gareth O'Brien, but Wakefield Trinity took through another test. Two from two. Really tough on Salford, that, but for Wakefield, are they going to have to learn to be the favourites? You were talking about Cass, that yeah. it's all going to be different for them yeah. this year. Last year, everyone was tipping Wakefield to be in the bottom mm. four. This year, they're tipping them to be in the top four. Yeah. Yeah, not like I say, it's a, it's the same same situation. They're in, in it. They're gonna have to learn how to how to go into games as favourites and deal with that. You know, uh, go again when you go to Wakefield, you've got to be on your game because you you know. But I, can, I know from from previous from playing there that you know you, you can you can sense when you can go after teams and and uh, you, you know that they'll be. Um, they'll, they'll be quietly confident going about the business the, the way that they do. And uh, you know, I think they'll uh, they, yeah, they'll handle it pretty well. And it's a big, big pack, isn't it, that they've got? We were just talking about it. Look at their starting four front rowers. Anthony England, who's probably the smallest out of them, and he's like <laughs> six foot four. You've got Fafida, you've got Paulie Paulie, you've got Hubie. 
They're giants, yeah. and they are. And but we're equally on the same side as that. That that can be a hindrance to you as well. You get against these teams, they get their nose down quickly, get jumped out of acting half. The big boys get picked on, and um, they'll have to spend a bit of time making sure that their cardiovascular system are, are, are up to scratch. And you're not looking forward boys. to facing them, though, would you? No, I mean, I'll, I'll look forward to any challenge. <laughs> yeah. That's why you're a prop for yeah. That's why he wasn't. Eh? That's why. Um, for Salford, it was really tough. They played well, didn't they? They played really well. And for me, and uh, look, I live in West Yorkshire, so I hope I don't get any you know, brick through the front window. I thought that they were the dominant team on the game. Obviously, the, the, the amount of tries that they scored, uh, devastated for Gareth O'Brien. Uh, you know, he's an absolutely gold, gold-hearted person. Uh, he wasn't able to slot any. Well. They were all tough kicks, and it wasn't the greatest condition. There's an absolute gale that has blown uh, through West Yorkshire over the past seven days. Um, but he'd still expect himself his own excellence. You know, remember, a million-pound game two years ago, he nailed that drop kick. So his, his expectations on himself. But uh, like everyone's saying, I don't think Salford are too far away from their first win.